man and a woman are attracted to each other just as opposite poles of magnet attract each other. The longing to love and to be loved each other is the root to support the humanity and the driving force to continue history. From the beginning of creation, God made people, male and female. And He inscribed the vocation to marriage deep in their very nature. God created humans, male and female. He commands a man and a woman shall become one body. This means that humans did not divide themselves into men and women and instituted marriage by attracting each other. God also enables couples to learn and follow His love through marriage. We learn the relationship between God and humans through marriage in which love is alive. Love is the fundamental vocation of every human being. The love between husband and wife is a sign of God's constant love for us. The sacrament of matrimony is a sacrament by which a baptized man and a baptized woman receive the blessing of God to bind themselves in love for each other and establish a family to live a happy life. The other sacraments among the seven sacraments are personal events of a recipient, whereas the sacrament of matrimony is a sacrament received by the union of a man and a woman who form one body through marriage and become husband and wife. Therefore, this sacrament is a gift for the family community formed by the union of a man and a woman, while giving them the grace to fulfill the roles of husband and wife, respectively. The purpose of marriage, established by God Himself, is to promote conjugal love and unity. A married couple cooperates in God's work of creation by giving birth as the fruit of inseparable love, educate and raise children through their love. The married couple helps each other to lead themselves and their family community to perfection so that they can fit the purpose of the Creator. The characteristics of marriage in the Catholic Church are the unity and the indissolubility. The unity is the whole personal unity of a man and a woman through marriage in accordance with God's creative providence. The indissolubility of marriage means that a marriage has the foundation of the lasting union as it requires that the couple should keep their respect and faithfulness for each other. This is based on Jesus' teaching, So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. Marriage between two baptized persons should be celebrated in the liturgy of the Church, the sacrament of matrimony, with a priest who assists at marriage and two witness to pledge to live as a lifelong couple, then it can have validity and legitimacy approved by the Church. If a Catholic marries a non-baptized person, a dispensation of marriage should be required. In this case, the Catholic party promises to preserve his or her own faith life and to ensure the baptism and education of the children in the Catholic Church. The non-Catholic spouse fully understands and agrees to it. Once the dispensation is obtained, the marriage is valid and intact. The Church provides for the protection of the married couple and their family by canon law. If you do not observe the canonical form of marriage and are married only in a civil ceremony, or if you marry a non-baptized or non-Catholic without the permission of the Church, you will be placed in a matrimonial impediment according to canon law. You are not allowed to live the sacramental life in a matrimonial impediment. In this case, the marriage should be renewed in a canonical form to become valid. Lord, we always praise you. We ask you to make our life as a couple become a sacrament so that we can reveal your love in our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.